It's a gorgeous night out here in Texas. So on today's video, I'm gonna make up some green chili bacon cheeseburgers on my Yoder flat top. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got two pounds of ground beef here. And let me see how big I want these burgers. A little bit bigger than a golf ball, I think, is going to be the right size. So I'm not going to handle these too much. Again, this ground beef is ice cold. But um, these are probably going to be, I don't know, third pound, possibly. So just right out of the package, guys, I'm just making these uh, ground beef balls, if you will. A little bit more on this one. Yeah, these are about a third pound. These are going to be perfect. Got some bacon. You can see here on the chopping board. Got some green chili that we chopped up over here. This one needs some more ground beef. I'm going to use all of this ground beef. So again, I'm not handling these too much. I'm not going to roll them around like a meatball or any of that stuff. Just Make them into, into balls, if you will. Some are going to be bigger than, than others, but that's okay. So I've got about six, seven burgers here that we're going to make. All right. So move this aside. I've got some wax paper here. Just going to put the ground beef in there. Put another piece of wax paper. And I've got my burger smasher right here. Just like that. I'm going to get the rest of these uh, meat patties done. We'll see you guys at the grill. Stay tuned. All right, so we're at my Yoder flat top, and I've got half a basket of charcoal on the left side and half a basket on the right side where I'm going to grill my burger. So let's get the bacon done first. This is the... Um, stainless steel griddle attachment this is optional if you guys were to order your flat top i gotta tell you it works amazing nothing sticks to this thing i fried eggs on this thing real easy to clean just like that listen to that sizzle All right, I'm gonna give these a minute. I'll bring you guys back when I flip them. Stay tuned. All right, I just flipped the bacon. And one thing I did wanna tell you guys is that the charcoal basket is adjustable on this flat top. So when I started uh, to cook the bacon, I had the charcoal basket all the way down and I noticed that it wasn't getting as hot as I wanted it to be to get the bacon nice and crispy. So I raised the charcoal basket all the way to the top. So I just flipped these, we're gonna give this a minute and we'll come back and put the burgers on. Stay tuned. All right, so the bacon is almost ready, so let's go ahead and put our beef patties on, just like that. I am using some Royal Oak lump charcoal, and this stuff burns pretty hot, so that's why I only put half a basket of charcoal on the left and right side. And again, these burger patties don't have any seasoning Fun little fact for you guys is back in the day I actually worked at McDonald's when I was going to school in Phoenix and I even worked at a Dairy Queen and all of the burgers come unseasoned the, the burger patties come unseasoned so all we did was put salt and pepper so I've got some SPG in here just gonna put a little bit in there or a lot of it just like that Oh man, that pepper hitting the coals smells good. Then I'm going to also add a little bit of this uh, beef rub and seasoning. Just a little bit. We were craving burgers. And I was going to just do them inside the house, but nothing beats a, a grilled burger like this. So we'll let these cook for a little bit. I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. All right, let's flip these burgers. Actually, that was not ready to be flipped, but these are over here. 
Remember, we only put seasoning on one side of the patty, so nobody likes the food to taste good only on one side, right? And that one still needs a little bit. So we're going to add some of the SPG again, just a little bit. And some of the beef rub from Victory Lane Barbecue. These are just about ready. We don't want to overcook them. All right. I'm going to bring you guys back to the griddle. Let's warm up this green chili. Stay tuned. All right, got the green chili. So we have to warm that up as well. And this is some uh, hatch green chili. I took the bacon grease off of the griddle. So this green chili has been roasted and peeled already. We, we um, have them roast the chilies and then we freeze them. And whenever we're gonna use them, we just peel them and chop them up or use them whole for chilarellanos and other recipes. So we're not trying to cook this, we're just trying to heat that up. So we'll bring you guys back in one minute, stay tuned. All right, let's flip the burgers one more time. Just to get that, uh, we like our burgers well done. I know a lot of you guys could eat a burger medium rare, not us. Steaks is a different story, but burgers, we like them well done. So just put some cheese on there and get that to melt. And I'm gonna put some mayo on the uh, bread, on the buns, and I'm gonna toast the buns as well. This is something that I've seen a few of you guys do. Somebody recommended that I put some um, mayonnaise on the bread and toast it that way. So I'm gonna try that. So stay tuned. All right, got some mayonnaise. I am using some Duke's mayo. And I'm gonna put some on the buns, just like that. And get them nice and toasty. I don't know who it was, but I've seen a few people do this. And they said that I've got to try it, so I'm trying it tonight. The burgers are ready. Just gonna to toast the buns a little bit. And we'll put the uh, burgers together, stay tuned. All right, look at these buns. Nice and toasted with that mayonnaise. Smells good. So let's put our meat on there. We've already got mayo, so we don't need to add more mayo. Just like that. I think I'm gonna add the green chili next. And again, we warmed this up so it's pretty hot. So that's gonna help continue to melt that cheese. I gotta tell you that Hatch grows the best chili in the world. It smells nice and uh, roasted. Oh man, it smells delicious. Then our bacon. Should I cut it? Yeah, I'm gonna cut them in half. Just like that. Oh yes. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Nice and crunchy. Top it off with our bun. Look at that. These are going to be good. Stay tuned. All right, let's give these burgers a try. I'm going to cut them in half first. See what we got. I know this is going to be good. Look at that. Mmm. Get you that crunch. Mmm. <laughs> Man. That crunchy crust that got in the bread from the mayo, and that bacon is nice and crispy. The green chili has just a little bit of heat on it. That cheese, 
the patty. This is probably the best burger I've ever made. You guys have got to try this recipe. I'm not joking. From the from the mayo on the bun, to toasting it, to the green chili, the bacon, the smoky meat. Oh man, this is good. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up. Ask any questions. Until next time, Joe Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.